<laughs> Welcome back to day six of week three, continuing on with our drill a day series on the Espadia Daga, which again is the third area of Kali. For today's training, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've actually done this drill before during week one on the single sword, single stick, but we're gonna be throwing in the uh, Daga for this one, all right? Do me a quick favor, make sure that if you have not done so, so far yet in your lifetime, hit that subscribe button for me real quick. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. I'm putting out all this energy for you. Come on, man, the least you can do is subscribe. I was looking at my analytics, and can you believe this? 73% of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So just hit the subscribe button, it's free and it makes you really cool. Give the video a thumbs up for the training series. Leave me a comment below. Let me know where you're training from. What kind of dojo are you training in today? Are you training inside? Are you outside in the mountains? In the desert? In the middle of the ocean? Where are you at? All right, let's get to the drill. Today's drill, we are taking a look at the florete on the Espata Idaga. All right, so we've done this drill before, but we just go one and two and three and four. I'll give you a quick refresher Maybe you kind of forgot about the florete, or if you're just kind of jumping into the Drill A Day series right now, I highly advise to click right up here somewhere and go to our Drill A Day playlist and begin it from the beginning. Now, if you're like, no dude, I'm beast mode, that's totally cool, you can try this one out and give it a shot. Totally cool, maybe you got it, or whatever. And then you can always go back and you know do all the previous drills and catch on up last couple of weeks. All right, so let's take a look at it. I'll do a quick review of the florete. The florete, this is a double slash. It's two slashes per one beat in timing, okay? Now, what the florete is, it's a back edge strike, and then it rotates into a main edge strike. So we're gonna cut with the back edge and then cut with the main edge. Now, there's a lot of tactical applications for the florete, it doesn't mean that you're always going to be striking and trying to hit with the back edge. There's a lot of things. The primary purpose of the florete is to protect your hand. Then after that, there's a lot of other tactical applications for it. If you want to learn about the actual tactical applications of the florete, you got to get training with us in our Kali Apex in our coaching program, right? I'll have a link down there below. You can check it all out and all that st that stuff. But I want to make sure we're just kind of training right now. So please understand that. If you don't know the actual application of a florete, it's because you haven't been taught it yet, all right? So if you want to get it, you got to come and advance your training with us. All right, so, but we can at least start getting the movement down and start, you know, building that the technical skill of it. So from here, Here's what we got. We're gonna throw a number one florete. Then the daga is gonna pass through right over the top. Then we're gonna come over. See, I'm coming with the back edge on my angle two, because I'm gonna hit that number two florete right here, and then I'm gonna fire that jab out right there. Okay, I'm gonna come up with that three florete. Boom, there's the cut. Right into a four florete. And then we're gonna strike a low jab with the knife, and then a high jab with the knife. You can also do a low thrust and a high thrust. So you can play around with those two variations right there. Then it starts all over again. So we got the one florete passing the daga through on the thrust. Two florete, there's that jab. Three florete, four florete, and then a low and a high jab or thrust. All right, let's take a look at it again from another angle. We have one florete past the daga, two florete, there's that jab, three florete, four florete, and then a low and a high. So if you have been doing the count, there is eight movements to this particular drill. Let's go ahead and go nice and slow together, accomplishing round one out of 10 together. Let's go nice and slow. Remember, each round consists of 10 full repetitions of the drill. Let's go ahead and knock round one out of the park. All right, nice and slow here. 
here we go. Repetition number one. Florete one. Pass the Daga high. Number two Florete. There's that jab. Boom. Three Florete. Notice how that knife comes to the hip here. You can't put it up here at the plexus, so you're going to thrust yourself in the arm. Okay. Four Florete. Boom. Right there. And then a low jab and a high jab or thrust. Repetition number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number three. Rep four. Rep five. I'm going to turn it a little bit so that way you can see that left hand a little bit better. You have to just angle yourself to the screen with me so it's like you're training right next to me instead of behind me. All right, number what, six? Seven. Eight. One more, we got 10. There's that florete one, passing the daga. Number two florete, there's that jab, boom. The three, the four, low and high. Now how much do you love that florete right there? I mean, it is such a cool feeling thing, right? When you got this thing down, bop. Boom, right? I mean, it just, it just makes you feel cool, man. Bah! All right, there you got it. Drill number six on week three. Working out on the Espadia Daga, working on the Floretes, starting to build that technical precision on them. So once again, finish off your nine more rounds. You can either go beast mode and knock them all out right now, or if you need to, spread them out throughout the day. That's totally cool also. Remember guys, is it a super big deal when you make a mistake in your training? abso freaking lutely it is. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a super big deal. We just don't count that rep. Take a mental note, take a breath if you have to, and then just slow it back down for that next repetition. Okay, this isn't a race of who can you know blast through the 10 rounds and who can be the fastest or whatever. It's not a race to it. Yeah, you're just in a competition with yourself of can I stay focused on the training every single day? Can I maintain good effort in the technical precision of you know, my technique, of the drill, of my form? And then the persistency of training every single day. So I'll see you guys back here for some more Espadia Daga tomorrow. It's our last drill of week three tomorrow. And then we'll have to say goodbye to Espadia Daga for now. All right, make sure to subscribe to the channel, give this one a thumbs up, leave me a comment below about your dojo. Also, let me know when you are done with day six on the Espadia Daga week number three, week patlo, week tres. And then uh, I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Get outside, make nature your Kali dojo. All right, adios.